Hey everyone, it's MGV, Mafia Game Videos, and in my previous video I explained that the next game from Hangar 13 Games is not gonna be Mafia 4, but instead a brand new game not Mafia related. However, this doesn't mean the Mafia franchise is over, Mafia 4 will eventually be released. In Mafia Definitive Edition, if you go to the airport's entrance, you will see a sign with a bunch of well-known locations listed. In this video I'm gonna explain what the location of Mafia 4 is most likely going to be. Each Mafia game from Mafia 1 to Mafia 2 to Mafia 3 have all used fictional cities just like Grand Theft Auto. The city of Mafia 1 in Mafia Definitive Edition is Lost Heaven, which was mainly inspired by Chicago located in the American Midwest, and the setting of Mafia 2 is Empire Bay, which is another fictional city, it's on the east coast of America, and it's largely inspired by New York, but it's a cross section of different American cities. And the setting of Mafia 3 is New Bordeaux, which was mainly inspired by the city of New Orleans, located in the southeastern region of America. It's pretty evident that the Mafia franchise, just like the Grand Theft Auto franchise, avoid their games taking place in real-life cities. So that's why Mafia 4 will not take place in the city of Miami, state of Texas, or country of Canada. And each Mafia game takes place in a brand new, unique city. So that's why Mafia 4 won't take place in Lost Heaven, Empire Bay, or New Bordeaux. It's going to be a brand new fictional city. So that leaves two options, Bourbon City and Havana. Now I know Havana is a real city located in the country of Cuba, but I'll talk about it more shortly. Now not many Mafia fans know this, but Bourbon City was actually the original name for Mafia 3's New Bordeaux. Back when they were brainstorming ideas in the city layout for Mafia 3, once upon a time, New Bordeaux was called Bourbon City. As you can see from this Mafia 3 developer picture, at one time the developers brainstormed Mafia 3 to take place during the 1800s, during the colonial times. It most likely would not have been called Mafia 3, obviously, but a game that took place in the 1800s in Bourbon City. There are still many references to Bourbon City throughout Mafia 3 that are still present. For example, um, this billboard, <laughs> it says WBYU 620, New Bordeaux's native son, with Remy Duval, hottest country in a bourbon city. Even the Mafia 3 game files reference Bourbon City, which was clearly the original name for New Bordeaux. The official Mafia game Twitter actually posted this picture and it's a Mafia 3 advertisement for Humphrey Whiskey. It says, Bourbon City Blinder. I even went further in my research to discover that the official 2K website is currently selling a Mafia 3 New Bordeaux t-shirt with the description that says, You went to New Bordeaux and all you got was this awesome t-shirt. Celebrate your time in Bourbon City and prove how good a time you had. Or like we say down here, yeah, you're right. So we can cross Bourbon City off our list for being a potential location for Mafia 4 because Bourbon City was the original name for Mafia 3's New Bordeaux and there are still many traces of Bourbon City still present in Mafia 3. So that leaves the city of Havana, located in the country of Cuba. My veteran subscribers already know that Mafia 3, during its brainstorming stages, was originally set in Havana. This Mafia 3 concept art is from 2013, and we can see that Havana was a serious consideration for being the location of Mafia 3 before it was settled to New Bordeaux, New Orleans. Mafia 3 still makes many references to Havana, Cuba. For example, the first mission of the Stones and Turd DLC takes place in a Cuban restaurant. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee. 
God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? My day one subscribers already know that I made a video on an early Mafia 3 developer map of Cuba. This developer map of Cuba has islands and it's pretty neat. Also, in the recent Mafia Definitive Edition, there's another Havana reference. At Salieri's bar, if you go upstairs where the wardrobe is located, you'll find a reference to Cuba. Now, this is no coincidence. I think it was strategically placed by the developers of Mafia Definitive Edition as a in-your-face easter egg that many people would brush off as nothing. This is placed outside the room where the player can change their outfit via the wardrobe. The only viable location for Mafia 4 on this airport entrance sign is without a doubt Havana, Cuba. As a Mafia veteran, I discovered more locations in the Mafia universe when Mafia 3 came out. For example, and not many people know this, but in Mafia 3 there's a sportsbook gambling hotspot and if you go there it tells real life locations. For example, after Empire Bay over here, it says Portland, Columbus, Seattle, Dallas, New Bordeaux, Atlanta, Tampa Bay. And this other sign to the right says Philadelphia, Baltimore, Milwaukee, St. Louis. To be honest, I don't think any of these locations are even considerations for Mafia 4 because they're all real locations. Now, I know Havana is also a real location. But there are a lot of hints and traces referencing to Havana in Mafia 3. All these US cities just aren't as unique as Havana or Las Vegas. Speaking of Las Vegas, I stated in my previous Mafia 4 video that Mafia 4 was originally going to take place in 1970s Las Vegas, but it was canned because Hank 13 chose to work on a new IP. Now, I explain everything in more detail in the history of Mafia 4 in my previous video. But in Mafia Definitive Edition, there's a cigarette card that got a lot of people talking. I'm talking about this one. Louis Romeo. Los Andes. This is the first time Mafia fans are seeing a brand new Mafia location. On the back of this cigarette card, it says, Gambling Dens, High Society, Hollywood, Prime Targets for the Mob. Ten years ago, the families on the East Coast, referring to Empire Bay, needed eyes in the west and since then louis romeo has overseen it all he commands the unions launders the money and blackmails the studio bosses and he does so in plain sight with a leading lady on each arm look behind the smiles on the red carpet and you can see the fear obviously just like how empire bay wasn't based on just new york alone but inspired by multiple other cities los andes will also follow the same suit and be inspired by multiple other cities mainly Los Angeles. It seems, and hopefully, also Las Vegas. It mentions Hollywood in the third sentence, and the red carpet at the end, so it looks like we may see a modified version of Los Angeles in its old days. Now, California and Nevada are neighboring states, they're right next to each other, and Los Angeles is only 4 hours away from Las Vegas, or 270 miles, 
or 435 kilometers. It's very possible that Los Andes will be a combination of the cities Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Mafia 3 makes a reference to the city of Las Vegas in the gambling location I was previously talking about. If you hover over the gambling safe house, it says, There is not a better sports book outside of Vegas, but be warned, the house always wins. And the official Mafia game Twitter posted a tweet on June 14th, 2016 that hinted at Las Vegas. Farewell to the Riviera, a classic Vegas mob joint says goodbye. Hashtag Mafia 3. Now, Las Vegas is a strong possibility of a location in Mafia 4 because all the fans have been asking for it. And like I stated in my previous Mafia 4 video, Hangar 13 themselves even started working on Mafia 4 in 1970s Las Vegas, but the whole idea and concept was canned. It seems that the Mafia game city Los Andes is a modified city of both Los Angeles and Las Vegas. And the second strong possibility is Mafia 4 will take place in Havana, Cuba, since there are many hints and references scattered throughout the Mafia games, mainly Mafia 3, since Mafia 3 was originally going to take place in Cuba. <laughs> now, I'm honestly okay with either choices. I think it would be really cool to have a Mafia game not set in America for once. Playing as the Cuban Mafia seems pretty awesome. It'll be like the Scarface game we've been asking for and never got. But, at the same time, you can't go wrong with the Martin Scorsese casino-like game set in Las Vegas. Imagine a Mafia game where you gamble and purchase properties and expand your territory like Saints Row 2. I just hope they don't add online multiplayer and make it like GTA Online with microtransactions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you want Mafia 4 to take place in Havana? Or do you want it to take place in Los Andes, the city of Los Angeles and Las Vegas? And if you're new here and like the Mafia games, don't forget to subscribe for more Mafia related content and news. Place, park, scene, dark, silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me, you, sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, be...